Chapter 1. A Snowy Surprise It was a chilly winter's day in the small town of Frostyville. The streets were covered with a thick layer of snow, and the houses were dressed in white. Children laughed and played, leaving their footprints on the ground as they enjoyed the snowy surprise. Amongst the joy and excitement, a young girl named Lily stood at her bedroom window, gazing out at the winter wonderland outside. She loved the snow and the way it transformed everything into a magical world. Lily dreamed of having a snowy adventure in the snowy forest nearby. As if on cue, a gentle breeze blew through the window carrying with it a magical snowflake. It sparkled and danced in the air, captivating Lily's attention. With a childlike curiosity, she reached out, catching it delicately in her small hands. The moment she touched it, she felt an enchanting tingling sensation that filled her with excitement. Without hesitation, Lily bundled up in her warm winter clothes and followed the snowflakes lead into the snowy forest. The trees wore white coats, and the ground was carpeted with a soft, fluffy layer of snow. The forest seemed to whisper secrets, enticing Lily further into its depths. As she ventured deeper, the magical snowflake guided her through a narrow path. The surroundings became hushed, and the only sound that accompanied her footsteps was the soft crunch of snow beneath her boots. Every step felt like a small adventure, as if she were tiptoeing through a secret kingdom. Suddenly, Lily stumbled upon a clearing. The space was bathed in soft, golden light that seemed to emanate from a hidden source. She marveled at the sight before her, a majestic ice castle, standing tall and proud amidst the snowy forest. It was like something out of a fairy tale. Lily approached the frost-covered gates of the castle, only to find them open, inviting her to step inside. With a mixture of excitement and caution, she entered the magical kingdom. The castle walls shimmered with a thousand shades of blue, reflecting the light and casting a beautiful glow all around. As she explored the castle's enchanting rooms, Lily discovered that it was a place of wonder and joy. She danced with animated snowmen, encountered talking woodland creatures, and even befriended a kind-hearted ice princess named Crystal. Together, they laughed, played, and shared stories under the watchful gaze of the snowy forest outside. Time seemed to fly by in the magical castle, and before she knew it, the sun began to set, casting an orange glow on the winter landscape. Realizing she needed to return home, Lily bid farewell to her newfound friends and made her way back through the snowy forest. When Lily arrived home, she couldn't help but feel a sense of nostalgia for the magical adventure she had just experienced. The moment she closed her eyes, she wished that some day she could return to the ice castle and its snowy surprises. Little did she know that the magic of the snowflake had only just begun. It had marked her as a chosen one, destined for more extraordinary adventures in the snowy forest and beyond. With a heart full of anticipation, Lily eagerly awaited the next chapter of her snowy journey. And so, Lily drifted off to sleep, dreaming of the enchanting winter wonderland and the magical surprises that awaited her in the snowy forest and beyond. Question, what did Frosty discover in the snowy forest? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Building Friendship It was a frosty winter morning in the quiet town of Maplewood. The children, bundled up in their cozy jackets and hats, were eager to go outside and play in the freshly fallen snow. Emily and Jacob, who lived next door to each other, were especially excited to spend the day building snowmen and exploring the winter wonderland. As they stepped outside, the crisp air made their noses turn rosy red. Their boots crunched in the snow as they made their way to the park. The snow was so fluffy and white, it looked just like a giant blanket covering everything in sight. Emily, with her pink scarf and matching gloves, began rolling a big snowball to start their snowmen. Jacob, bundled in his blue jacket, joined her eagerly. 
They laughed and giggled as they rolled the snowball back and forth, making it bigger and bigger. Soon they had a sturdy base for their snowman's body. Now it was time to roll another snowball for the snowman's head. Emily and Jacob worked together, pushing the snowball until it was just the right size. They carefully stacked it on top of the body, attaching it firmly so it wouldn't fall off. Their snowman was taking shape. As they admired their creation, a mischievous snow bunny hopped out from behind a tree. It had fluffy white fur and a twitching nose. The children couldn't help but smile at the adorable creature. Look, Jacob, it's a snow bunny, Emily exclaimed, pointing at the little animal. Jacob bent down and gently extended his hand. The snow bunny hopped closer and sniffed at his fingers. It seemed friendly and wanted to play. The children were thrilled to have a new friend join them in their winter wonderland adventure. They played with the snow bunny for hours, running, jumping, and making snow angels together. The snowflakes twirled and danced around them, as if celebrating the friendship forming between the children and the bunny. Eventually, the sun started to set, casting a warm orange glow across the snowy landscape. It was time to say goodbye to their new furry friend. Goodbye, Snow Bunny. Thank you for playing with us, Emily said, her voice filled with gratitude. Jacob waved his hand, his eyes sparkling with happiness. Goodbye, little buddy. We'll see you another time. The Snow Bunny hopped away into the distance, disappearing behind a row of trees. Emily and Jacob watched until it was out of sight, their smiles lingering on their faces. As they returned home, their hearts were filled with joy from the magical day they had spent together. They couldn't wait to build more snowmen and explore the winter wonderland in the days to come. And who knows, maybe they would meet the snow bunny again and continue building their friendship. With rosy cheeks and happy memories, Emily and Jacob settled down for a cozy evening, eager to dream about the adventures that awaited them in their beloved winter wonderland. Question, who did Frosty meet while exploring the winter wonderland? Check the video description for the answer.